Alright, hey guys, my name is Jeff Murphy, um, Murphy Generations Farm here in Gerard, Kansas. Um, today's April 19th, and uh, we're growing soybeans into a uh, green mix of zero rye and barley that was planted last fall, late October. And uh, it's going pretty well. It's been uh, fairly dry. population plant 190,000 um, just because I mean, we'll, we'll normally plant 140,000 but plant 190,000 because we're playing green and uh, into the zero rye you know some of those beans may hit zero rye roots and uh, not come up as well so um, putting 4.8 uh, Asgro's 48 SFO Really, the cereal rye isn't as good as I was hoping it was. I did some last year. It's, uh, it was definitely thicker and more growth on it. I don't know what that was. If there was more, possibly more fertilizer you know, left over in that field. Um, or if it's just been kind of a cooler spring. We haven't had as much growth. In places the rye looks pretty good, especially where they, they got probably more anhydrous fertilizer last year at the ends. Uh, more where there's just uh, kind of more fertility terraces look a little bit better. Um, this field hasn't been grazed. We grazed some of our other fields. Um, and it's where we will graze, it's a lot smaller, but you can also see uh, the impact of the cattle on some of those spots where the cattle have uh, manured or urinated and, and those spots look, look better. So we'll probably terminate this with a herbicide. Um, I don't know if it's big enough really to roller crimp. I was, was really hoping to roller crimp some, but I'm not sure if this is going to roller crimp really well. Um, it's also a pretty cool day. Um, you know, you've got a touch of frost night so I checked the soil temperature and it's at 42 which is probably way too low but um, I think it comes up pretty quickly after watching the kind of soil temperatures be in the 60s um, just a day, day or two ago so I'm sure it'll come back up and uh, we'll see what happens um, hopefully we're helping our biology and, and put some carbon on the ground beans in early that, so that they can uh, get up and have lots of leaves up for the longest day of the year and also canopy and, and keep our weeds out. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be fun and, and hopefully we're making some progress on our soil health. Uh, I'll kind of move the camera around maybe you can see a little bit better what's going on there. But yeah. All right, guys. Well, We'll talk to you later.